The Board of County Commissioners needing help from the state to foot a pretty big bill. They're asking for $110 million in state COVID relief funds to help pay for a new county jail. News 4's Jessica Bruno has the details new at 6. This is just another step in the ongoing search for the money to fund the nearly $300 million new jail. And today's vote by the county commissioners will send a request to the state legislature. We've all campaigned on trying to do something with the jail. And on Tuesday, the Board of Oklahoma County Commissioners moved forward with plans for a new county jail. It's in the hands of the state, and if they say no, then that's on them. They're asking a joint committee at the state capitol for $110 million in COVID relief funds to help build the new facility, which could cost around $300 million. And these funds specifically would go toward improving medical and mental health care at the jail. I'm in hopes that the state will recognize that we're the largest county by population and that we have also a stake in this as well as they do because they have uh, funds at their disposal they can dispend on it when it has a direct correlation to a state action and we have funds that have been given to us also. The county already has 150 million in COVID relief dollars that they're hoping to throw into the pot of funds for the new jail. But right now, they're working with a consulting firm ironing out how that money can legally be spent. There's widespread public support on kind of both sides of the political spectrum, if you will, for building a new jail. I think it's widely recognized, has been for years, and we've been there under uh, Federal Department of Justice investigation for since 2008. Tuesday's vote coming just one day after another inmate died inside the jail, the second death of 2022, on top of 12 deaths last year when the jail lost its certification to house juvenile offenders. I hope this is an exciting first day to a long conversation, but this is the first time I think in 20 years that we have really got a serious proposal on the table to maybe actually holistically fix the problem that we have suffered from from the jail for many, many decades now. Now, session starts at the beginning of February, so once it starts, a joint committee will look at this request. We'll, of course, keep you posted. In Oklahoma City, I'm Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Jess, thank you. Now, remember, even if the county gets that money from the state and uses all of the county's COVID relief money as well, they would still be short. So the rest of it would come from expiring bond money, which would be on the ballot for you Oklahoma County voters during a special election in the spring.